What is going on guys, MJ2005 here and today I'm going to be reviewing the hybrid Gundam Kimaros Vidar from the final few episodes of Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans Season 2. So this is going to be the final form that we know of the Kimaris and the silhouette actually looks pretty cool but for the color scheme, ah nah, nah it doesn't look good at all. The top half of the body looks good but the lower half like the legs, why? Why all of a sudden change the color scheme to black instead of this white? But by, by by black, I do not mean black. It's kind of like a chocolate brown. So it it actually looks even terrible. But the silhouette actually looks pretty cool. I'm not kind of a fan of this like big cock head, like this gear cock that it has over here. And the head, the head, oh my god, it's actually pretty torturous to assemble. Because like, here's a separate horn, as you can see, and then the gear cock, and then the actual V-fin. And then the faceplate, the faceplate is the most terrible part, because the eyes a lot go with the chin, and it's just a single, like, single slot. And I'm just trying my best not to lose this, and it actually took me 5 minutes to just to try to put the face mask into the face. Oh my god. And the confusing part is this is the original form of the Kimaris. So what is the other one then? The other one that when the Kimaris made his first debut? I really don't know. So the build process is okay and I'm actually pretty happy that the most of the yellow is plastic. Like even the triangles here are plastic. I was actually pretty surprised, but if you really want to buy this kit, I would not like say that it is a beginner friendly kit, just because of the head construction. And so for seam lines, you can actually see this right down the actual knees, right down the knees, right down the behind of the arms. And that's it. So you need to do some extra touch-up work there. For stickers, you have the forehead, the eyes which are separate which annoy me a lot, the emblems on the shields, the grey one and purple one on the arms. You can see this wraps around entirely. So. It will peel off anytime soon, so I recommend painting for that. And I think that is it. So not a lot of stickers. So you could decide whether you put the emblems on or not, it's optional. But really, a min oh, and then also the waist here, the yellow on the waist. So a minimal amount of stickers for such a kit. I'm actually satisfied. So, for the articulation of this guy, the gear cog, also the head, is on your typical double ball joint, nothing pets, nothing special. The arms are on your regular ball joints, nothing special. They can come out. They, the shoulder armor can come up. These can go out. The arms, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, ball jointed wrist, bar at the, wa bar at the torso, swivel waist. The front skirts can move, side skirts can move, back skirt doesn't move at all. And then the legs can go forwards and back, separate from the waist. They can go forwards, backwards, not at all. Outwards, all the way if you, if you barely lose a side skirt, all the way that far. Rotation at the hip, double jointed knee, which, yeah, terribly bulky armor. And then the feet, they can go forwards and back side to side and rotate a little bit and then the toe can clamp down and then the sub arms at the back so you can rotate at the base they have a hinge here rotation here double joint another joint over here and then a ball joint at the shield so you can get some pretty good poses with this guy so this guy has pretty good articulation and surprisingly, it can stand on ground. Although this is made for like a space type mobile suit. 
For accessories, first off, you have the shields attached to the subarms. So, now this guy teaches me something. The backpack doesn't have to have thrusters. So the main thrusters are in the shields over here. So you need to color them gray or the shade of this. So that's that, yeah. With so many joints you can put them wherever you want. Similar to Thunderbolt, if I may say so. Similar to the, the FA Gundam. And then you have the sword. I was deciding which one to show off first. So the sword, this bit kind of looks like the army knife or the assault knife. I, I really forgot. So nice detailing, pure to gray. You can just simply slide it into the hand like so. And then you can store it on either side skirt, but you need to take it off. So here's a peg over here and then there's a hole. Put it in, it's kind of, be, it's kind of tight out of the box. So be careful. And it kind of obstructs a lot of things. So here you go. It is stored. I, I initially thought it was going to be slotted in. But whatever. This is better. And then you have the drills and the knees. Also drill knee. So you only got one drill. Unfortunately. But it can go inside either. So you could just put it in. And there you go. And then finally, the drill lance. And it's, and of course it's taller. So what you need to do is to bring in the thumbs up hand. So on top of giving somebody a compliment, you can actually let the key Morris hold the lance. So it does not have a peg in the handle anywhere. So I don't know why did they give us the slit. So you put it in, and these kind of surfaces create friction. So, I don't know how, how long it will hold up, but you can make it stationary for a bit. So replace it, and here you go. And you also have the uh, Dying Slave launchers. I, for I forgot what the bullet's name are called. So... What you need to do is to take off this top piece of the shield. Be careful though. And then here's the bullet. And then you push it out from the top. And extend it. S extend the shield so it can do some cooling. Pull it out. And here's the here's an actual like slit over here. So if I bring in the lance. You can actually see there's some directional slits over here. So... You can place the bullet in, and there you go. So let the cameras hold it. And then position the arm. And what you need to do is to place the shield over here and push it in. Reconnect it. And here you go, a dying slave launcher for the Kimaris. And I just snapped his waist. Not literally, don't worry. So here you go. He is launching a dying slave. So that's all the accessories for the Gundam Kimaris Vidar. Now the bell isn't out yet the time of recording this, so I brought out all the Kimaris variants. So here is the initial form of the Chimaris. Let me just get some space here. The lances are gigantic. So I thought this is the original. But I don't know for sure. I really need your theories right now. And then you have the actual only form that lives up to his name. The Trooper. And then the Disguise. The Gundam Vidar. So here's the entire Kimor's family here. So 300 years ago, two years ago, two years ago, one year ago. 
not one year ago, the actual PD-325. So that's the review of the high grade Gundam Kimura's VDAR. So what do I think of it? Well, the silhouette looks uh fine to me because I re I really am not a fan of this kind of like hexaframe esque feet because yeah the Hugo is bad enough already, but it may have a pencil move. Who who knows? Maybe I can recreate that in the diorama. And I do not like the gear cog head. Like you can literally put multiple of his head and really make a mechanism work. Yeah, jokes aside, I really do not like this kind of gear cog head. So the head ruined it for me. But the accessories, while they are they are interesting and very fun to like display it. It is tedious to set up now the drill. The drill is easy enough, but the dying slave launcher for the drill lance is gonna be like a pain in the ass to set up. Because you have this all these moving joints over here in the shield and then the lance does not have a peg that pegs into the hand cover, which has a slit for peg. So I really don't know what the hell is going on. But Ben and I decide Oh yeah, we sh oh yeah, we shouldn't like uh, give a peg to the customer so they can use just like friction and do not ruin the look of the lamp. So uh, uh, I think we should not give them the peg anyways. So I've I really am like having mixed feelings on this. So if you really like the Keymovers Vidar, go get it. No one's stopping you. I wouldn't say it's an awesome kit, but it's actually. Worth get if you have the other three keywords variants, you it's obviously worth getting to complete the family. So it's all up to you to decide whether to take it or give it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also, and also subscribe for more gaming videos, mod reviews, and other kind of stuff. Subscribe to Ultra Prime, AC of Vs, and Pure Sentence if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye bye.